Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So today, it's been a big week. <laughs> We're going to take a look at the brand new Disney designer collection Ariel doll that released. Now she did just release on Tuesday. No, I did not pay overnight shipping. My dear friend Melinda actually went to the parks on Sunday, saw her at Epcot. I don't remember what the name of the store was that she saw her at at Epcot. So she grabbed me one and I am so grateful for that. So that is how I'm able to review her so quickly for you. So I do hope you guys enjoy. Uh, this one is a very fun one for me. Um, and hopefully you guys uh, will leave some fun comments down below and let me know your thoughts. Okay, so I'm not even gonna get into the ridiculous drama that's going around these designer dolls anymore. I'm done with that. I'm just gonna dive right in and go over this doll. I know everyone has some pretty strong opinions and we're just gonna say, okay, that's your opinion and move on. So these boxes, okay, we are used to these boxes now. Even the new Cinderella doll that I reviewed yesterday has this type of box now. Um, they are, of course, closed flat fronts. There's nothing we can do about that. If you wanna display your doll and see her, you have to take this part off, but then you leave the dust in. It's all kind of crazy, life goes on. 6 plus we've got that same geometric design that all the other dolls have had only of course this time for ariel we have some seashells there's some kelp kind of you know, watermarked there with the disney designer collection more seashells ariel limited edition one of ten thousand massive run um and knowing disney they did it because they know ariel sells so why not right i love that her box is kind of a blue green tone i think this is really well done i was so nervous that they were going to give her that kind of weird purple, red, brown, orange color they gave Pocahontas and Jasmine. So glad they didn't. Um, I'm, I'm really, really happy that they did change the color up on this one. On the top, of course, it does say Disney Designer Collection. On the side, this so much reminds me of Atlantis, like the way that it's done here. Um, it says Ariel. A little bit of that little aerial crown. I think that's a really neat touch too. More of the geometric design as well as some bubbles and kelp. Now, again, like I said, this was bought at the parks, so I have the parks price tag. So now you know I'm not kidding. I really did get this at the parks. $129.99. And then, of course, here it does talk a little bit about the doll and the um, designer as well. Ash Lasota. I think, is it Lasota? Lasode? Lasota? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. But uh, she was the designer of Ariel. So we do have that same geometric designer of seashells. And, of course, one with her profile picture in there. If you'd like to pause and read it there, you can. It does talk about the doll and the designer and where her inspiration came from. Of course, uh, certificate of authenticity and stand is included. Kelp and then the crown and Ariel. And we are back to the front. And then just like the other ones, of course, this is an open flap front box. Um, you can see here, it does have that geometric shine uh, design here with the shell. This is a pamphlet that talks about the designer and her inspiration. I don't take this one out, but uh, I will take out my certificate of authenticity. So again, we do have that tiny little card coming from the parks. They have massive high numbers. So 8,867. Um, yeah, nice high number. <laughs> but that doesn't surprise me seeing as the parks always tend to get um, a little bit higher in number there. And that's all fine and good. At this point, it's Ariel. I don't care what her number is. I'm just glad I got one. So, and I love that they have these little pockets and then it just slides down right in there. Coming back to Ariel then, of course, you can see there she is. We have that same magnetic enclosure uh, front cover that has a plastic on it, Disney designer collection, and then the uh, geometric designs with the shells on it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this off. We're gonna get Ariel out and we're gonna get Ariel completely out. We will be deboxing, so stay tuned. So really quickly, I did want to show you the box. Now I did take out all of the plastic um, arms and braces and all that kind of stuff because I wanted to show you what the inside of her box looks like. So we do show uh, Eric's castle. There's the wedding boat right there. Um, beautiful ocean scene, sand. And then this is where I love this. It fits in perfectly just like Jasmine's did. It looks like they're just on a sandbar. So you can see kind of the, the edge of the water there. Um, doesn't really line up right here though. That's pretty funny. Um, little sandbar right there. And then just the beautiful, you know, Caribbean water that I guess is supposed to be, I don't know, Denmark, something like that. On the back, we do have the same design, only this time it's just in greens and blues. My camera's picking it up blues, but I promise you it is more green than blue, teal color actually. Uh, but that is the box. So now we'll go ahead and I'll get Ariel and we'll take a good look at her. All right, so Ariel is now out of the box here and a lot of fun. Same thing with Cinderella that the tool, a lot of little pinning. I left a lot of those in, we'll get to that later. But what we're gonna do of course is just start right in on her face. So they did revert to an older face mold. 
And I'm not sure why, but they did. And I know a lot of people don't like it. And I know a lot of people don't like front facing eyes, but again, we are not the designer. So the designer chose this, Disney chose to go this route. And this is what we ended up with. So she does have rooted hair, of course. She does have some painted hairs on too. I know that caused a lot of commotion with like cultural appropriation and all that kind of stuff. Um, not the first time we've seen this on dolls though. So, you know, hey, I understand. Some people don't like it because they say it makes her look cheap. Other people say wrong skin color. Other people say all kinds of stuff. My thing is, is guess what? It was done. Disney approved it. Clearly they thought it was okay. And we are good from there. So long, luscious, plump curls. I mean, this is just one thick, body of hair and I love it. The curls are super bouncy. There's a little bit of crunch to them, but not too much. Otherwise her hair is nice and soft. She does have rooted eyelashes. You can see that here, nice and long and dramatic rooted eyelashes. She also has painted eyelashes on and I love that they gave her the little extra hairs in her eyebrows. I think that was very well done. Um, she has the also on here. You can see we kind of saw that on a few of the others too, like Cinderella. Um, she has these painted on I don't even know what those are, but they look really cool. They almost look like fish scales, but I do like them. Um, just beautiful done, I think. I, mean, I honestly don't mind her face one bit. I know a lot of people didn't like it. Beautiful red lips, blue green eyes, absolutely gorgeous. Um, she does have, I know I'm not avoiding the elephant in the room. She does have the opalescent, oily, pearlescent, whatever the heck you want to call it, skin that a lot of people hate. I understand why they did it for this doll. It works, in my opinion, for Ariel. I know a lot of people will you know, say no, it doesn't, and that's fine. Everyone's allowed to have a different opinion. My biggest weird thing hang up with this, though, is this, like, headpiece thing. I'm trying to sort out what the heck it is. Like, I know there's little seahorses right there with a the little gem, but what are these? Like, <laughs> wings, fins, rays? Who knows? Um, it, it really looks like a like a She-Ra helmet or something off of, um, what was that one show? I don't remember what the female warrior, I can't remember her name off the top of my head or Thor or something. And then it has attached to it these ringlets that then have three strands of pearls, which the pearls I think are fun. I really do like those. And I'm kind of glad that they gave her these because the Japanese version of the 2019 Ariel um, was not allowed to have the cylindrical beads. They had the pearl beads. And I thought the pearls just worked so much better. So they did give us the pearls. There's three different sizes and different colors. Like this is kind of a more white plastic. These are more pearl-like. And then we have little ones that are kind of right in between. So I do like that on her headpiece. I think that's a nice touch. Um, I still have ideas of what I'd like to do with the headpiece and those, but we'll get there. Um, so that is kind of the top portion of Ariel coming down. This was another area where a lot of people had issues. So we have this tool overlay top that has shell like these shell pasties almost like they are stuck to her chest and they are a white opalescent material much like her uh, purse that just dropped there um the same material as the headdress as well so that all does tie together it's just a very interesting design um then she has a fitted corset that again has a tool overlay as well as sequins underneath just like the 50th cinderella so i'm thinking we're going to see that more often probably in a lot of dolls since they've done it now in quite a few dolls i do think it's a pretty interesting touch coming down she has the, one of a very simple overlay skirt so it's ombre effect tool it's a kind of a coral sandy peach color and my camera's picking up pink it's more orangey sand color truthfully that then fades down into the aqua teal caribbean blue color that we like down here and then um, on every other pleat there are these beautiful little um, patterns here um, mine, I can't tell if some of these fell off or if they just didn't get put on or, or what's going on there. Um, there were no loose beads in the box, so I'm not sure if maybe they just got missed or what, but it looks like there should be some right there. But, uh, that is all the way around the skirt here and we'll turn her around here in a second. Um, but you can see there that is all the way around. This is her, uh, other accessories aside from her headpiece and that is this long pearl, uh, strapped, opal essence shell purse which actually i think is pretty cool um it is hollow on the inside but i do like this uh, quite a bit it's very 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 shiny and very pretty i do like the, the the coating that they gave it now i'm gonna go ahead and turn ariel around and this is where a lot of people were like hmm, what the heck wham turkey 
<laughs> like one of my friends says, it looks like a turkey butt. Well, kind of, yes. Um, this has, of course, this plastic. It's the same material as the headpiece and the shell and her shells. Um, that same coloring, uh, opalescent coloring. Then we have this uh, layer of ombre effect, peach, pink to teal, blue. Um, and it's got little crystals on the one side of it. And then we have two layers of this pleated ruffle, um, kind of like a sea fan almost uh, display on the back. This does unbutton. You can take that off, which I will do here in a second so we can see it. I'm a little nervous to do that, but I'll do it anyways, just for you guys. Um, but I know a lot of people are like, what is that? Why is that? Well, to me, it's like two things. A, um, it does look like sea fan coral, which makes sense in the Caribbean, and it makes sense in the ocean. It also looks like the waves splashing up behind her on the rock. It looks like a clamshell. It all ties in, and I do like this. Like, I love the shimmer that this has. I love the pop of pizzazz that it gives to the doll. Um, very, very neat touch, and I do like it quite a bit. Now what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unbutton it. Pray for me. I'm afraid to do so, and I'll show it to you off. Okay, so here I did take it off. It has two little buttons right here that attach on her skirt, and you can see just how shiny and shimmery that fabric is. There's all the little um, jewels and bead, or jewels, I guess you say, just little gems all over that. And then the back, of course, is just that nice little plastic piece. And then this is what area looks like without it. So, you know, not terrible. I, I, I do think that that piece does add to her. Um, so, you know, it is definitely a needed, a necessary part of her outfit. If I move her hair, Let's see if I can get her hair to go across her arm. There we go. Um, you can see here, she does have two little straps, a Velcro. There's the two snaps that it fit into. And then this is the only other hang up I have with this doll. This skirt is so dang short. Um, I know that it's not like, I, I mean, I don't know. I just, she's 16 in the movie. <laughs> if my 16 year old daughter walked out of the house wearing something like this, I would have an issue, but you know, whatever. Come after me in the comments. I don't care. That's just my opinion. Um, and that's just, whoo boy. But what I did want to show you was this train is so long and I love that the gems go all the way down the seam um, and it just it does flow out quite nicely from her uh, the only issue I keep running into is the pleats get bent and then it doesn't look quite right when it falls um, so that is kind of an interesting thing on here of course is just a velcro enclosure there um, you can see the little trademarks and such like that from Disney and uh, then I did want to show you one other thing because you couldn't really see it earlier the headpiece is tied in and it's also rubber banded like you can see right there there's the rubber band and it goes behind her head over to the other side so that's why I'm like I'm hesitant to take that off simply because I don't I don't want to mess up things too much um so we'll see. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, there we go. Now she's back in focus. I'm going to put the fan thing back on her and then we'll come right back. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to show you here was the stand. So it is a saddle stand. You can see there we do have the gold and black base. And then on the bottom, let me see if I can get that to focus. You can see there it does show the Ultimate Princess Celebration, Disney Designer Collection, and then Ashley's signature. I love that touch, and you wouldn't see it if you didn't the box. So, um, like Pocahontas, I didn't take out of the box. I liked her in the box too much to take her out of the box. Um, but you would see, of course, Javier's um, signature, and then um, the other guy, his is on uh, Jasmine's, of course, which uh, I did show you there. So there is the stand. One thing I wanted to show, too, here on her shoulder um, is like a little, she has two of them. There's one on each side. It's a little metal clip that holds the straps, kind of tighten them up, but it also is a great way to hold your purse <laughs> from it from falling down. So just an FYI there. Now her last accessory, of course, are her shoes. So her shoes, let me see if I can do this without totally ruining this tool, are, they, they got that same, it's almost like a peacock tail, sea fan, whatever you want to call it. Um, look on the side there. She has a pearl in the front, and they too, though, are that really cool, um, pearlescent, opalescent uh, material paint, whatever you want to call it. So I do like her shoes. Nice tall heels there. Um, they are rubber banded to her feet, of course, so that they don't come off. Um, so yeah, those are her shoes. She does have the bend and snap knees. Not my favorite, but I know that's what they do for 12 inch dolls. So it is what it is. So that, there she is, 
is Ariel. I would love to know your guys' thoughts and comments. Be nice. If I see anything negative towards the designer, um, I will delete just so you guys understand that. Everyone is going to have a different opinion that I completely get. And uh, I do agree that everyone is entitled to their opinion. However, there's a way to present it without being a jerk. So <laughs> again, be nice. Uh, that is all I will have to say about that one. I personally, I was not sure uh, when I first saw her. I was very uh, surprised, taken aback, shocked, whatever you want to say. Um, but in the end, I knew I was going to get her because it is Ariel. Um, and I'm glad I did. I mean, what's the point of getting one or the other or two or three when it's an Ultimate Princess Celebration lineup, you gotta have them all, right? <laughs> we all have that problem. Um, but it's gonna be a long 15 months, let me tell you. We are three in and we have 12 more to go. So it will be fun. Alrighty guys, well I hope you enjoyed. If you've gotten her already in the parks, congrats. If you got her online, congrats. She's still available um, as of today, which is uh, December 16th. I will link below to her Shop Disney site. Um, of course, grab her if you want to. Don't forget to use your ship magic code to get free shipping and best of luck to you guys Europe I know she releases on the 20th so to those who want her over there good luck I'm sure you'll be just fine uh, she's still available here she's in the park so I'm sure she'll be over there for a while as well alrighty guys again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed uh, and I hope you guys all have an extra magical day and we will see you real soon